Hi friends, this is time and distance video part 5 and here we are going to learn some of the very important question which will be frequently asked in your exam and for solving this question we have the fast track method here but before that we will try to solve this question by the normal procedure right now distance between two stations A and B is 778 km so distance between two stations A and B is 778 km a train covers the journey from A to B at 84 km. So train 1 is covering the journey from A to B at 84 km per hour and back to A at the speed of 56 km per hour, right? So from A to B the speed is 84 km per hour and from B to A the speed is 56 km per hour. Find the average speed of the train during the whole journey, right? So we know the formula D is equals to ST. That means distance is equals to speed into time, right? So what will be the speed? A speed will be distance divided by time, right? And in case of average speed, Average speed is equal to total distance and divide by total time, right? Okay. So now average speed is equals to. So what will be the total distance? See, a train is going from A to B and then coming back from B to A, right? See, they have clearly mentioned the journey from A to B and back to A. That means the train is going from A to B and then coming from B to A. So the train is covering how much? 778 from A to B, which A to B distance and then 778 again from B to A, right? So average is equal to total distance. So this will become my total distance and divide by total time, right? So what will be the formula for time? See D is equal to ST. So T will be D by S, right? So from A to B, it will be 778 and divide by speed and divide sorry distance and divide by speed so what will be a speed from a to b it will be 84 right plus again time from b to a see this will be time from a to b and time from b to a will be what time will be distance so the distance is 778 and a speed will be what a speed will be 56 km per hour so this will be 56 and this will be time from b to a right now 778 plus 778 we can write 2 into 778 and divide by in this case 778 we will take common so it will be 1 by 84 plus 1 by 56 right now this 778 will get cancelled with 778 2 divided by here we will take LCM 84 into 56 LCM we will directly write it like this 84 into 56 now 84 will divide 84 so 56 and 56 will divide 56 plus 84 this will become my LCM right now 2 and 84 into 56 will go up and divided by 56 plus 84 again we will come back here and we will see now 2 into 84 into 56 and divide by uh, 6 plus 4 is 10 and 8 plus 15 plus 4 is 140 8 plus 5 is 13 and 13 plus 1 is 14 so it will be 140 now 2 into this will go by 70 times and then 7 into 8 and if you multiply with this you will be getting 67.2 kilometer per hour that means the a will be out. now what is the fast track method what is the fast track method so using fast track method we will be using one formula 2xy divided by x plus y right so 2x where x will be the first speed and y will be the second speed or you can also say the formula will be 2 s1 s2 and divide by s1 plus s2 right where s1 will be speed 1 and s2 will be speed 2 right now 2 into what will be s1 s1 is uh, 84 km per hour so 2 into 84 into what will be s2 s2 will be 56 and divide by 84 plus 56 right now 2 into 84 into 56 and divide by 86 plus 54 is 140 and the same thing whatever we got here is right the same thing whatever we had got there so 2 70 times and this is 7 8 times 
and if you multiply you will be getting 67.2 km per hour which is nothing but the option number a and the same fast track method we will be using in the question number two question number two a man covers a certain distance by a car driving at 70 km per hour and returns see it is driving with 70 km per hour and then coming back at 55 km per hour so find the average speed so average speed will be fast track method 2 s1 s2 divided by s1 plus s2 where s1 is equal to speed 1 s2 is equal to speed 2 so 2 into 70 into 55 divided by 70 plus 55 so 2 into 70 into 55 and divide by 125 now if you try to solve 5 11 times 5 25 times and then 5 5 times and 5 14 times and then if you multiply it will be 154 14 into 11 will be 154 into 2 and divide by 5 and 2 4 ja 8 and 15 into 2 is 30 divide by 5 and 3 not 8 if you will try to divide by 5 it will be 6 times and then 5 1 times and then kilometer per hour so this will be the final answer so please use fast track method which is nothing but the formula to solve this kind of question Thanks for watching the video.